Hey everyone, over the past few years, van life has gained popularity both in the US and abroad. This week, we sat down with two young van lifers who talked about their experience and how they found their creative career. My name is Brandon Evans. I am from Washington, DC. I'm currently located in Maryland. I live in a 2003 Toyota Sienna. I've been doing it for about three and a half years, actually, and I don't plan on stopping. When I was in middle school, I would just look on YouTube and I stumbled on a on a uh, van life video and I'm, I was curious about it. And I think ever since then, um, I've wanted to try it out. And it wasn't until I left my aviation career um, at the age of 25, I realized I was working so much just to pay for rent. But I just said, you know what, I have a better chance of traveling in a van than I do, you know, uh, working for an airline and um, just purchased a van. I actually I became a firefighter um, traveling and fighting forest fires that way. I just got addicted to it. I loved it. I love the freedom, the fact that I could save so much money that way. So what I wasn't prepared for was the judgment. Um, when people would meet me, um, before they would even get to know me, they would all automatically assume uh, maybe something's wrong with this guy. You know, maybe he's like down, down on his luck or something. And it, the opposite was true. I actually had a mentor and the best advice that he's ever given me was um, you're at an age where people are going to keep trying to tell you or treat, keep trying to convince you how to think and what to do. But you already know what to do, what you want, what you like. Um, if, you're, if there's anything you feel like you need to do, just do it. My name is Mary Ashley Crow. I go by Mac and I travel full time with my husband Owen and our cat Luna. This is what it looks like outside of our door right now. We've currently been on the road for about four and a half years. My parents are probably our origin story as far as the idea for something like this. They went on the road post-college just with some hand-me-down camping gear before my dad's first assignment in the military. But I think that uh, when Owen and I started dating in college, we just kind of had uh, just like a passion for traveling and exploring. And I brought that story up of my parents and Owen was like, we need to do that. It was like three days after I graduated, we hit the road with just a tent and my Honda Element. Ultimately, because uh, we were just on our savings account, we ran out of money and had to come off the road. And gosh, it was like less than a month later, we had an apartment, we had dust jobs. And it was about two years later, we just were like, what are we doing? We put a date on the calendar and that was the day that we left. Um, and that was four and a half years ago. Um, Owen and I are both designers and we have a design business together. And in addition to all of that, we also do freelance photo and video work. And that is the kind of stuff that's honestly come on since getting on the road. But I think that the most surprising thing about traveling full time is that we have come to realize that the people are the most important thing about our travels. And a lot of them are people that will be with us, I can confidently say for the rest of our lives. I think that what's important if you are unsure with what you wanna do with your life is to not settle for anything. Not settle for something that doesn't make you happy work-wise. Don't settle for a place that doesn't make you happy living-wise. There's a million and one things that you can do with your life. Just, just don't settle and always place a priority on happiness because as long as you do that, you're going to be pointing yourself in the right direction.